Welcome to Sam Livecast. It's Friday. It's the last day of uh, the freshman uh, dorm food week. And uh, clearly I'm by myself, but uh, I'm not just talking today. We're, we actually have demo stuff for food. So here's, here's a little shot of all of this stuff here is what we'll be talking about. Cool. So Monday we did uh, things you could do with like Easy Mac uh, in the microwave. Um, Wednesday, we did things you could do in the microwave that you might not normally think about doing. So today, I wanted to do sort of the healthier side of things that uh, you as uh, dorm kids or you as parents could suggest to your new dorm kids, things they could keep uh, in and around the dorm for reasonably healthy snacks. It's not a bad idea. I mean, you know, I, I eat these things, so... Uh, it's not just for, you know, people on some uh, diet. Trust me. So I'll go down my list. I've got all my stuff here. We're going to start right here with this one. Almonds. Uh, dry roasted almonds. Plain almonds. Uh, I won't eat them because they'll just be too crunchy. Are certainly uh, a great source of uh, nut protein and delicious. And crunchy, and you can add them to a jillion things, such as yogurt uh, or cottage cheese. Look, don't diss the cheese. I used to hate cottage cheese. We're going to get to it. I don't want to talk about it yet, but we're going to get to it. Almonds. Keep these around. You can buy them in those little like individual serving packs. I think that's a great idea. I think it's a great way to do that. Okay. And they're not going to go bad. Like our next guest is not going to go bad either. Uh, a can of tuna. Uh, the only thing you really have to remember about this is <laughs> you get an opener because it's useless without one. But this won't go bad. And it's amazing in so many things. Not the least of which is that Easy Mac uh, that you make in the microwave. It becomes almost like a... Um, um, what's the word? Uh, tuna casserole. Tuna casserole, think about it. Noodles, cheese, boom, tuna. You want to take some frozen peas uh, and drop them into the Easy Mac when you're making it and then stir in some tuna at the end. Really, really good. Really good. I, I think you should... What am I doing? I think, yes, I think you should do all this. Uh, bananas. Of course a banana is known for being delicious and filled with potassium, which we can all use more of. But it's an easy thing to grab on the way out the door in the morning. The last thing you want or you want for your kids is to go to class hungry. That's just not good. And look, let's be realistic about this. A lot of them, it's the first time away from home. They're going to be enjoying their freedom, which means they're going to be staying up late at night, which means they'll probably be just almost late for class and that means no time to get breakfast this fits easily in your hand you can consume one of these on the way to class no problem they're filling potassium it's good for you it's good for you but then you want to kick this up a little bit i won't say kick it up a notch i'm not going to do that emerald thing but watch what you can do then you get one of my next favorite items peanut butter and look how these guys come you don't want to keep a whole jar in the dorm then that's fine because it's hard to take with you but you grab one of these single serving skippy guys and you do this you pull it open now you've got the peanut butter there if you just want to have some off the end of a spoon like that or check this out this mic is pissing me off bust open your banana right? Then take some of the peanut butter out of your little deal and put it on the end. Now this bite, sorry, this bite, unbelievable. Could I do this on the way to class? Are you kidding? I might go back to school just so I can do this on the way to class. These things, these individual skippies, they're a great idea. They're a little bit more money. But the beautiful part is, is they can take them with them, throw one in a backpack, 
and they have it whenever they need it. Like emergency protein right there. Oh my God, so good. Here's the other thing. You want your kids eating fruit, right? Okay. Are they, are they going to keep like apples and oranges in the room? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. But these little individual bags of uh, fruit slices, in this case, apples, I, I don't know how, I don't know what they do to these things to make them stay beautiful like this. But look at how nice that is. Right? The core is taken out. It's a nice little slice. And then remember the peanut butter we were talking about? Now you can do this. Now you can have an apple with a little peanut butter on the end of it. Mm. Crunchy, delicious. Who doesn't like that? Mm. I like that. That's fantastic. Okay. Look, there's little simple things that you can do in your food world to make things way better. Ready for a tip? Here's one of them. We Olive. Weolive.com will get you to a place where you can get only California certified extra virgin olive oil. You know, the whole olive oil world, especially the extra virgin stuff, it's very sketchy. You can be buying things that are mixes of all kinds of stuff. California certified extra virgin olive oil, only at We Olive. It's amazing. You can go online, weolive.com, check out other stuff. If you put Sam in at the little checkout box, you'll get 10% off your order. Or even better, go to a store, have them turn you on to what great olive oil tastes like. You'll be so glad you did it. Weolive.com, tell them I sent you. Okay, well, that actually be meaningless, but put my name in the box and you get 10% off. It's all good. Weolive.com, check them out. Working down the list. Protein bars. I don't have any here. I don't know what kind your kids like, but a handful of those, a box of those, become like an emergency grab on the way out. We know that the brain, the body needs fuel to work properly, especially in the morning. That's the time. Or late at night studying, you know? Don't make them go get like junk food, complete junk food from a vending machine and have chips and stuff like that when you can have these kinds of things hanging around for them. <clears throat> but wait, don't stop there. All right, check this out. Microwave popcorn, which they can do very easily, right? And if you get the kind that are not laden with butter and salt and junk like that, then it becomes actually pretty decent for them. But there's all th kinds of things you can do. You can put some in a bowl like this. Hold on. And then you can flavor it. Excuse me while I give my little dog a couple of bites of popcorn. Here you go, boo-boo. Hold on. Where, where are you? There you go. You can have those. There's one more for you. Good, good boy. You're just sitting so patiently. But here's what I like to do. I like to take... You want to put a little sesame oil and some sesame seeds on this? No sweat. You want to put it like a little Parmesan cheese on it? That's fine too. This is, this is um, like a pork uh, rub. So look, it might be too bizarre, but the point is this. As you take and you season the popcorn with a little bit of some kind of seasoning. It could be curry powder. It could be Old Bay seasoning. Whatever... You, if you're watching this and you're the person eating this, or your kids like, or whoever likes this, you do this, it's now the ball game has been completely changed mm. in a whole new delicious way. But you're not adding like tons of butter and stuff. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Oh my God. Oh my. <coughs> Excuse me. I got that pork seasoning in my nose. Hummus is a great thing to keep. I don't have any here. It's a great thing to keep. It's really good fat. Chickpea. I'm going to sneeze again. <coughs> Excuse me. I can't believe that. Wow. Um, the super delicious. I love hummus. It's good fat. It's really good for you. I mean, I, I'm very happy eating it. Okay. So look at this. Uh, Non-fat Greek yogurt. You see? Oh, no. This is 2%. But Chobani, for example, makes a 0% fat. Uh, that's really good. This one is um, 
passion fruit. Have you had this passion fruit yogurt? It's really good. Really, really good. Not sweet. Got that little tang thing going on. I love a passion fruit. But the point is, what, oh, I can't believe my nose now. But the point is, once you have this, and if you get the plain one, then you can put anything in. For example, boom, these little nuts you could easily, easily put in. A squeeze of honey, a single squeeze of honey and some plain yogurt takes it to a whole new dimension. It's rather fabulous. If you've watched this show for any amount of time, you know that Perch sponsors us. The Perch.com on the internet, kitchen, bath, outdoor, amazing. It, it, look, it's this simple. You walk into one of their stores, you go, oh, I need a sink. You walk into one of their stores, you're like, oh my God, I've never seen anything like this before. You think I'm making this stuff up because they're a sponsor of the show. Oh no, I'm not making it up. It is the way it happens. You'll be blown away. Go to theperch.com. Check them out on Facebook. You'll love them like we love them. It's an amazing store. Amazing store. Do we know about this little guy called the avocado? Cut one of these guys open and just drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil. Or just give it a little salt and pepper. It's super delicious. Super delicious. Or use one of my favorite things right here. Salsa. I've got a green and a red here, right? They go on almost anything. A little spoonful of this inside the avocado. I mean, think about it. This is just vegetables. The avocado is a vegetable. It's just very good fat. So there's very low calories, lots of good um, uh, fat, and it's delicious. In a half an avocado or a whole avocado, there's no bad there. There really isn't. Okay, how about this guy? Oh, by the way, uh, you could put the, the almonds in, uh, in any kind of yogurt you want. I like to give a little crunch. It just, it makes it, uh, it, uh, it makes it uh, uh, more, more substantial, but the crunch adds just a beautifulness. Uh, hey, I'm not pimping, uh, the Kashi Goline. I happen to like it. It's great, great crunch. It's delicious. And by the way, I took some pictures shoot so here's the thing a lot of people like to put uh, granola in um in their yogurt so i'm at the store today i'm taking a look at this and i go all right serving of a uh, kashi is 160 calories in a gram of fat where's my phone shoot i don't have my phone here i'm gonna have to do it from memory oh no i got it right here check this out and i'm even gonna show you because i know you won't believe me That's why you have to be really, really careful when you're looking at these labels. So here's a granola right here. 140 calories in this granola that I took a picture of at one and a half grams of fat. Okay, that's fine. This is one gram of fat and 160 calories. So the granola would seem to be better. And there's, can you see that? I don't know how good that's showing up. There you go. See that? But look at what the serving size is. The serving size is one quarter of a cup. The serving size here on the Kashi Goline is one cup. A cup of this in calories and fat is equal to a quarter cup of this. That's just not right. You have to look at the serving size. That's what it's all about. So you put some of this, a couple tablespoons of this in the little yogurt and you're fine. It's granola is fat and calorie laden. Everybody think it's healthy. I don't know why. It's because the people that go on those uh, mountaineering trips take granola with them. Forget that. That's not good. Now, here's the thing that I love. I know a lot of people don't love this. I'm a huge fan. I'm going to show you right now. I already mentioned it. Here's what it is. It's called cottage cheese, ladies and gentlemen. Cottage cheese. I don't like to eat it plain. I do not like to eat it plain. I like to either give it a little bit of kosher salt and some fresh ground pepper. Here you go. The lights are going to play havoc with this. A little salsa would be delicious on this. Delicious. I know it's crazy. You think cheese and the salsa. Has, it does work in this form. Really good. Or either uh, some kind of hot sauce like Cholula or the Frank's Red Hot. 
You'd be blown away how good this is. I'm going to have some right now. Have some right now. Look, you just do this. This is really awkward with this mic here and everything. Just a couple of drops. Okay? Like that. And then you mix it in a little bit. Like this. And then you have a bite. Oh my. Don't even get me started on how good this is. It's menthol. I could eat bucket loads of this. And I used to be an extreme cottage cheese hater. When I say extreme, I mean like nobody's business. I couldn't stand this stuff. It's like the worst thing I'd ever had. Now, I'm eating it like there's no tomorrow. I can't. I, can't. I would sit here and do this thing right now, but that's not very good live cast entertainment. If you just watch me eat cottage cheese though i have to admit there's probably a certain segment of the audience that enjoys stuff like that i'm not going to do that to you now though anyway so what, what's the point of all this here's the point the point is to say there are definite choices that you can make or your kids can make about how they eat that don't have to be freaking carrot sticks yeah go ahead look we know we talked about this the other day there is this condition known as the freshman 15, that many freshman girls go through. They come home at the end of their freshman year and they've gained 15 pounds. It's because, it's because of all the junky crap that they're eating. They don't have to sit in their dorms and eat junky crap. And the, the, the reverse of that is they don't have to sit in their dorms and eat carrot sticks because nobody's going to have fun in that. You're going to eat three carrot sticks and you're going to say, screw it, let's go out for cheeseburgers or giant slices of pizza. When you can eat something that has a little substance to it, something with a little substance, like any of the things we've talked about here, some texture, some, some crunch, some sweet, some salty, that kind of stuff, you're going to make people happy. And then they're going to be okay eating it, like my cottage cheese. Okay. But I got to stop. Thanks for being here. I hope this week has been useful. A guy came up to me today and said, hey, Thanks for the uh, the uh, freshman dorm food list that I printed out on your website. My child just went to uh, Washington State, handed him the list. I think he's going to use it. That's you got lucky. If you don't make an effort, they're never going to. What was our job as parents? Teach our kids. Teach our kids so that they can leave the house one day and be productive adults. At the same time, we got to teach them these things. They don't know. If you eat cheeseburgers all day long at home, when your kids go away, they're only going to eat cheeseburgers. That's the way it is. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Maybe I should change that to the cheeseburger doesn't fall far from the fryer, whatever it would be. But the habits that they have when they're away are the habits that they got at home. You can change directions on this stuff, but they need a little guidance and that's up to you. Well, it's up to me. Now it's up to you. Take it and run with it. But I hope you do. All right. Thanks for watching Livecast. By the way, if you've not been to the website, cookingguy.com, it's brand new. It's all clean. It's all white. It's all shiny. It was black before. I mean, I felt like it was just it was too uh, heavy and burdensome. And now we've changed it. We like it a lot. Hope you like it. Let us know if there's anything that you think we're missing on that. But we'd be happy to uh, try and make changes for you. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with us. And uh, as always, we really appreciate you being here. Okay, that's it for me. Uh, have a good weekend. Say hi to your kids. Skype with them often. Often. And ask to see the condition of the room. Go like this. Hey, uh, Susie, just quick, take the camera and show us. You'll see if it's clean or not. That'll be a real hint of what, what's going on. All right, thanks. See you next time. Bye.